Shalom, shalom, shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites, the prophesying a downfall of Babylon the Great. You know, what's better known as America. But we're going to, uh, first, we're going to get all honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, by Hashem, by and double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone rule, well being the great example to the young brothers and the truth, and peace and blessings to the hopefully lit. And I'm the brother Gadal. I'm the brother Lakama. Uh, and we're going to get straight into it with 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 9. All right. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 9. For I think that the Most High have set forth us the apostles last, as it were approved to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. Uh, keep going. Yeah, keep going. We are fools for Mashiach's sake, but ye are wise in Mashiach. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable. But we are despised, uh, and and we are made fools for Hamashiach's sake, because the Lord told us specific things to do to to basically. But he for we are know who who is you know, and that the the main thing that make us foolish you know because we go out on highways and byways, huh? You know, and I'm gonna get a precept. Fourteen and twenty-three. This Luke chapter fourteen, verse twenty-three, and the and Yahweh said unto the servants, Go out unto the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house be full. And and that them is the the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. The Lord told us to go out to the highways and hedges, and compel y'all to come in. And you know, and, and the people of this world, they consider us foolish for we got on our garments, you know. Uh, they reading out the Bible, it's hot, it's raining, and they still out there screaming at the top of their lungs, you know. Uh, but that's what we commanded to do. You can go back to uh, first Corinthians. All right. Back to first Corinthians chapter four, verse ten. Uh so like it. Yeah, verse verse ten. We are fools for Mashiach's sake. But ye are wise in Mashiach. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. Verse 11. Even until this present hour, we both hunger and thirst, and are naked, and are buffeted, and have no certain dwelling place. And labor, working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless being persecuted, we suffer it. Uh, and in the... In the and if you really in this truth, you suffer, man, on all on all levels, truthfully. First uh -huh. off, you being vexed in this wicked kingdom, you know. Uh -huh. Then we got to work, literally work for Esau day in and day out, you know. And we supposed to be the top people on the earth, you know. But we st we know we in punishment, so we got to endure, you know. Uh -huh. Going through it with your woman, stuff like that. All type of different things, you know. The people in the world don't want to be around you because you don't act how you used to act. You know, we suffering, you know. Uh, we suffering not having our own, you know, having to pay bills every, every month, or every week, most people. Week in, week out. You uh, keep it. Being defamed. Verse 13. Being defamed, we entreat. We are made as the filth of the world. And are the offscoring of all things until this day. Uh, they bombs. Why they ain't got no hair cut? You know, we uh, made the filth of the world. Uh, Look at your beard, all that type stuff. You know, you need to go get a line up. But we know that's all that's going against the scripture, so we don't do it. Uh, uh, Keep Verse 14. And I write not these things to shame you, but as my beloved sons, I warn you. So P Apostle Paul, he's just warning us of what's to come, you know. He's letting us know that, look, th this is what you got to be ready for. Uh. Is you ready for this um this temptation? Is you ready for the affliction? Uh. Is you ready to be looked at as the filth of the earth? Lose your, your own status in the world? You know, 
your street cred, your popularity, you know, all that stuff is gone. Your women who you used to have. Because the world of women ain't going to want you no more when you come in this truth, man. God. You might keep one or two on if you can keep them. Your best bet is to, you know, just have one, you know. Right. But if you can have more than one, there ain't nothing wrong with it. But your best bet is to have the one that, that, hold, that don't even care about all this. You know? God. But you're going to be defamed in this kingdom, man. You know. God. Uh, so like if I can add, you know, these women, they, they are destroyed anyway, you know. Yeah. In the scriptures, it, I forget what uh, verse it is, but in the scriptures it says that the most highly proud these women of wisdom anyway. Yeah. So they ain't going to think it wise that, you know, we're in this truth, man. Yeah. Trying to go hard for your how about some your house shot, man. They want us to go hard for them, man. Yeah. You know? What you got? T saying all type of... You know, you tell them, look, we going to put in it work. They, they'll get mad at that, you know. Uh. They don't want you doing this all day, all the time. You always doing that, you feel what I'm saying? They going to want more attention. Uh. You know, and we are, I'm pretty sure everybody go through that same exact thing with they want me, you know, if you have one. Uh. Um, yeah. I said 58 on that. Okay. And we going back into how we made fools, you know, because we don't, we, we, the Lord commanded us go out to the highways and hedges, uh, you know. Well, I grab that, you can go to Proverbs. Uh, the Proverbs 1 and 2. You can bring, you can bring that thing I come out with you. All right. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 20. Wisdom cried without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place of concourse. And, and that, but that, that's going into, on the highways and heads, in the chief place of concourse. Uh, where people shop it. You know, uh, where people got to pass through and see you, you know. Uh, you know, in a cheap place to come for us, in a busy, in a busy spot where, where it's a lot of business going on. Uh, so, like, know? if I can add, you know, these church houses, they ain't they ain't in the uh, chief place of concourse, man. Uh, that's a that's an isolated building, man. Uh, you know, you're going in there, you you going up under these wicked pastors, you know, in the congregation of the dead. Cause nine times out of ten, you don't even know who you are, man. Uh, you haven't came back into your heritage, man, your true heritage, and that's being an Israelite, man. You Negroes. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans, man. Uh, we are the Israelites of the Bible, man. If you're in these churches, man, still in 2019, man, you're in the congregation of the dead. Uh, and I got a precept to back them just to prove that the Lord don't dwell in, in buildings, you know. Uh, it don't matter what it is. It could be a church. It could be a synagogue. He ain't dealing with none of it. In this Acts chapter 17 and verse 24, Yahweh that made the world and all things therein, see, seeing that he is, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands, you know. Uh. And that's just backing him up, what he was saying, you know. The Lord not dwelling in, in a church house, you know. Uh. The Lord ain't the Lord ain't dealing with the Christians and the Baptists and the Methodists and, and these damn, what they call Catholics and all the Lord ain't dealing with the Lord ain't dealing with them Jehovah Witnesses and all that. Uh, you know, uh, cause they ain't preaching the, the truth about the Bible. They tell you that this don't matter no more, or oh, this done away with. The only thing the Lord done away with was the dietary law, you know. Uh, Everything else is still in effect. No, the sacrificial law. Yeah, yeah, so like the dietary law is still in effect, the sacrificial law. Uh, uh. But you know, um, the pastors and all these other different religions, they teach you that, oh, this this is still uh, um, that you got to do, but this you don't got to do. Uh, the Lord say you got to live by every word of the, of the scripture. You know? Right. Not not um, what you want. He say he that add and subtract from the scripture, roughly paraphrasing, they're going to be destroyed, you know. Uh, and that's what you're doing by saying, oh, you can eat pork. You know, the scriptures don't say that. Uh, scattering the sheep. Uh, I mean, like the scriptures say, all things are lawful but not expedient. So it's stuff that's that's lawful 
that you can do, but we can't do it in this kingdom because we under a rule. We are, we are uh, we are in captivity. Captivity. Come so on. we got to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Come on. Come on. So like if I could add to what the brother is saying, uh, the spirit of the Lord don't dwell in temples made with hands, man. The spirit of the Lord dwell inside us, man. Us Israelites, man. Like I said, us so-called Negroes, Hispanics, you know, Latinos, and so-called Native Americans, man. Spirit of the Lord dwell inside us, man. Our temples aren't made with hands, man. Right. This um, Revelation chapter 21 and verse 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of Yahweh is with men. Huh. You know, and that, that's pretty much backing him up because the Lord dwelleth inside us. And this is another scripture. Grab this. Back in 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Uh -huh. Let's read this one. And this um 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. Come you on. talking about your body, man. Come you know your body is the temple of God. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, and you can um confusing the face scattered amongst the nation. Come on. You know, we are the temple of God. You know, he he's not talking about um no damn church house. He's talking about your body. He dwelling within within us. That's why he say when two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of. That's right. You know, it's power and pecks when you gather in your house by Shem your house shot. Uh -huh. You know, the Lord say one shall chase a thousand and, and five shall chase ten thousand, roughly paraphrasing. Uh -huh. So we gonna when these devils come for us, we're gonna be running off whole armies. You know, tanks and the fighter jets and everything, they going to be retreat, 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 you know. Uh, this the last who ride for Esau. We're going to make them, the Lord is going to turn us, like the scriptures say, he's going to teach our hands to war. Uh, Lord willing, we're Lord, part of that number, Lord man. willing, you know. Uh, and that's not right now. Right now, we can't do nothing. You know, we got to wait on the Lord. Uh, we got to you know? abide by Esau wicked ass laws. Uh, you know, that's why the scriptures say it ain't expedient, you know, right here in this captivity, man. Uh, because the scriptures also say, man, I suffer a wish not to live, man. Okay. Which is supposed to get put to death on sight, man. Okay. Yeah. But you know. You go ahead. And if I can add, how was America built? Come. Off witchcraft. Off oh, witchcraft. Come. And what they put put in all these little TV shows and cartoons and stuff, they got witches and sorcerers and all these Come. different things. Like, it's just cool, you know. Like, it's just what the Lord said we can do, you know. Uh -huh. That go to show you that we in a wicked society, that the wicked is ruling the earth because everything that the Lord say is good here, you know. Uh -huh. It's cool to be a homosexual, transgender. It don't matter, you uh -huh. know. Uh -huh. Live your best life, you know. Uh -huh. You can do whatever you want in, in Esau King, you know. Uh, and so like if I could add to what the brother's saying, uh, not to rant too long, but uh, like when you look at, the pentagon, man, it's the center of a pentagram, man. Yeah. You know, the pentagram is that star that goes like that. And in the center of that pentagram, you got the pentagon, man. Yeah. You know? What you got? Uh, and I'm going uh, read, read, read Proverbs 1 and right. uh, cries in the chief, chief right. place. Of Proverbs 1, 21. She cried in the chief place of concourse and the openings of the gate. Okay. In the city, she uttered her voice saying, how long will ye simple ones will ye love simplicity? All right, hold it right there. And this, um, to back them up, because that's what we do week in and week out. We in the chief place of concourse, and we crying out to the simple, uh -huh. to the to the to the deaf, to the what it is, deaf, dead, and lame. Uh -huh. You know, we trying to get y'all to repent, uh -huh. come back to the heavenly Father, come back to your power, man. That's right. Because we nothing without Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and the Lord finna show us that. Through Esau, Esau is finna come down with great wrath, and everybody who don't get don't have this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, y'all gonna be over with in that day, you know. And uh. this um Isaiah chapter fifty eight and verse one, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. Yeah, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we uh. crying aloud in the chief place of concourse. That's right, you know. We we don't care about how you feel, you know. It, it it don't matter. You can get mad all you want to. 
But you ain't getting mad at us. You getting mad at the Heavenly Father law, statutes, and commandments. You get mad at his ways. His he trying to get give you eternal life, you know. Uh, he trying to give you power over the nations. Uh, you know, but y'all don't want y'all don't want correction. Y'all don't want you y'all are of y'all father to do. You know, right. Like the scriptures say. Right. And you go back into that proper. All right. Read on verse twenty two. And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Uh, verse twenty three. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. Uh, I will make known my words unto you. Uh, turn you at my reproof. Start, turn back to the heaven father. Keep the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, the Lord say he going to put his spirit upon you if you do those things. Uh, you know, But you got to turn back to the heaven father. You can't just learn it and then not turn back. Because in that day, you're going to be hollering, Lord, Lord. And he's going he's gonna to say, I never know you. You know, uh, that's uh, why you got to live this, man. You can't just live it when it's time to go to camp, you know. Uh, you got to live it seven days a week. Uh, what what they say, 24, 7, 365, to, right. to the best of your abilities. You know, you keep going. That's a lot of I can add to the brother. You know, you got to, you got to feel your hour, too. Your how about saying I'm all shot, man? Cause that's the beginning of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. If you want wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man, you got to fear, man. You got to know what he he capable of doing to you, man. You know, it's it's, it's more than a, it's an infinite number that your how about Sham your how shot can take you out of this place, man. A thousand ways to die. Choose one. You know, <laughs> yeah, a thousand ways to die. Yeah. Yeah. You go back to Proverbs. All right, this Proverbs one and twenty four. Because I have called and ye refuse, I have stretched out my hands and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and I and would none of my reproof. And the counsels is when we going out on highways and byways, you know. Come on. Every video that get posted up on YouTube, you know, those are the counsels. Those are the reproofs. We trying to tell y'all. We breaking it down as simple as possible. Come on. Now we can't just go hard like we used to because Esau coming down, you know, cracking down. The, the, where Esau, the Lord using Esau to, to close the door of repentance. Uh. You know, the grace period almost up. Y'all hollering about I'm saved by grace. Okay, goddamn. Well, if you got a car and that grace period up and you ain't paid your, your car note, Esau uh. coming to get they stuff. You know? Right. And, <laughs> and right. it's the same thing with the Lord. The grace period almost up. If you ain't if you ain't paid your bill, you know the Lord gonna take you up out of here. Uh, you know uh, you might you might get away for a second, but uh, eventually he gonna get you. You know, uh, like the scriptures say, man, we purchase with a price, man. Uh, we purchase with the blood of the Lamb, man. Uh, uh, Yahweh uh, shot, man. Right. You know, we don't own ourselves, man. The Lord own us, man. Uh, This um, you can go back to this. After I get to this. this Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse ten, and well, I'm a, I'm gonna read from nine. Know, know therefore that the Lord thy thy power, he is, he is power the faithful power which keepeth his covenant and his mercy mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. And repay of them that hate him to their face, you know. And and what they're saying is, if you if you if you don't want to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, you basically hate the heavenly Father. Because if if you love the heavenly Father, the, the in the scriptures say, if you love me, keep my commandments. Simple uh, as that, you know. Uh, uh. <laughs> and he say he gonna repay you to your face if if you if you hate him. Uh, and if you ain't keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, like man, I ain't finna do that. I ain't doing that. You hate him. You know, uh, you hate his ways. Uh, you hate life. So you got to die. Uh, Let me finish that. I need to go back into it. Unless you got something to say. And, and repay them that hate him to their face to destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hate of him. He will repay them to their face. You know, the Lord said that two times. He going to repay you to your face. You gonna uh -huh. know, like, man, I I had a chance to get the word, but but I ain't do it. You know, he gonna repay you to your face. He gonna make everything we saying come to remembrance. Uh -huh. 
Uh, you're gonna be walking past, he gonna be like, he gonna make it appear in your mind. Don't ask us how he's gonna do it, because the Lord is is way out of you know, you can't put a certain power on the Lord, but I guarantee you, you two thirds, y'all gonna have visions of other prophets. Uh, it's gonna be flashing back like man, no man was telling us to, they were telling us to come back to the heavenly father. Uh, so you like know? if I can add, man, wait till the famine of that this word come, come man. On. That's when you really gonna feel it, man. Come that's on. when you really gonna know, man. You gonna know. No, that's when you really gonna know a prophet was amongst you, man. Come. Like no. the scriptures say, come. Man, sure they know a prophet was amongst them. Come. But it's gonna be too late. Grace is gonna be up, you know. That's right. Your car gonna be repoed. Come. <laughs> come. Come. Uh, Proverbs 1 and 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. The Lord going to be up in the heavens laughing. You know, he ain't going to come down here and laugh at you. Come. But we going to be laughing. Yeah, he going to laugh know? at you through his men, man. Because we've been trying to tell you, man. And he also going to be sitting back up there just watching the scripture. <laughs> laughing. And he going to be he gonna be calling the hits. Come. You know. Come. Ultimate hit, man. He going to be the one telling, how, okay, I want this person to die. It's already written how you going to go. Come. We don't know, you know. Come. Because the scriptures tell us not to worry about how the wicked going to get destroyed, but how the righteous shall be saved. Come. We worried about how we going to be saved up out of all this hell that's coming, you know. Come. When that sword come upon you, you know. That's what we worry about. We don't care about how y'all going to get put to death. That's right. You know. We hope y'all come back to, to the heavenly father. Come. It says, verse 27, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Uh, let me get there. You know, and, 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 and Israel hate knowledge. You know, they hate knowledge, man. Huh. You try to tell Jake, look, man, look, y'all, we the Israelites. We God chose people. Huh. Man, we Man, what's wrong with this dude? Uh, what what are you talking about? You uh, know, they don't want to accept, they don't want to, they don't want to learn nothing. You know. Uh, oh man, I ain't got time for this. You know. Uh, well, they so like if I could add, they say, man, what's an Israelite? Man, I'm a real nigga. Yeah, so you know, anything. They rather be real niggas than Israelites, man. You know, us Israelites were created to be above all people on the face of the earth, man. You know. Uh, what more could you ask for, man? Uh, You keep going. All right. Verse 30. They would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearken unto me shall do us safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. And and that's going into the 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 men of the Lord, because the Lord say knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of that time. And we uh. know the beginning of knowledge and wisdom is the fear of the Lord. Uh. You know, so if you if you turn back to the Lord, He gonna protect you. That's right. You know, you fear Him and do what He tell. They say the Lord, He gonna have that. He gonna protect us. You know, the Lord say when the enemy come in as a um, what it say? As a flood. As a flood. He gonna lift up a standard against them, come, come. and that standard gonna be into divine intervention. There's gonna be brothers rising up. Some people gonna get put to death, come. but it's it's a it's a um beautiful thing to get put to death in the eyes of the Lord. Some of us gonna get put to death, come. but you are gonna see some people rise up and 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 turn into Superman and and, and what's that movie? Bright burn, bright burn, bright burn. They ass. You know? <laughs> literally. The Lord uh, say he's going to lift up a standard. We don't know how that standard going to be lifted. You know? uh, it's going to be amazing, though. You know? uh, the Lord say he's going to give us the spirit, man, according to his anger, man, uh, to do whatever and eat them. You know what I'm saying? However he please, roughly paraphrasing. Uh, oh, you already at 33. Yeah, that was it. That was it on that. All right. This is the book of Hosea. 
chapter 4, verse 6. It says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's what I was looking for. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. God. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. And I will also forget thy children. God. And, they, and, and that's going into what the Lord says. He, he, since you hate him, he's going to repay you to your face. Uh, you rejected this knowledge. You rejected the man of the Lord, his servants, his prophets. Uh, he going to reject you. You know, it, it, and that, it's simple as that. Uh, Even if you're not a prophet, you a, you can be a help. You can bring the count water, something like that, you know. Uh, or just come support, you know, and listen to the word. Don't come up scoffing. You can just sit uh, back and... and and just be standing around the camp like a bodyguard, you know, just come. watching and making sure no evil come upon us, you know. Come. Come. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta be a everybody not prophets. Come. Everybody not teachers. That's right. But you gotta do something. You gotta do something, man. You know, you gotta be praying to the Lord just like we praying to the Lord. That's right. You know, you gotta be putting in work too. It's it's different kinds of ways to put in work. You come. keeping the commandments a part of work. Come. You know. To the best of your abilities. But we can't keep the commandments perfect. And if you break one law, you break them all. Come on. You know. Yeah, you know, so like if I can add, you know, uh, Yahweh shall did away with the sacrificial law, man, but you still can sacrifice some of your time for Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh right. Shah, man. You know, that's the most important thing. You know, that's the, that's the most valuable thing in this world, time. Come You know. Come People act like they ain't got time to do, you know, everybody in a rush, you know. Yep. Time is very important in this world we live in. You know? uh, <laughs> and 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 that's what you gotta do. That's a that's a great sacrifice to a lot of people. A lot of people ain't finna sit that camp for two three hours and listen to the men of the Lord bring it up. You uh, know, they went, man, I got something to do. I ain't you know everybody in a rush. To, and then when they get to where they going, and they ain't doing that. You know, <laughs> you in a rush to go do nothing. Nothing. Uh, you should be in a rush to save your life. Uh, we uh -huh. we getting you you we getting you life everlasting, man. This this is eternal. After this destruction that the Lord bringing, bro, it's gonna be forever. You never gonna have to, no more mourning uh -huh. for the Negro, Latinos, and Native American. You other nations, y'all still gonna die, but you are gonna have a a way better life than this. You know. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, verse seven. It says, "Uh, as they were increased." So they sinned against me. Therefore, will I change their glory into shame? Uh, and 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 that and 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 that go into two thirds because they live in glory. They they on top, you know. All these rappers and actors and, and football players and all this different stuff. Even the the Pope Jakes, uh, who ain't got nothing. That's right. They they living it up, you know. Uh, and the Lord say he's gonna turn all that to shame. He gonna have you like. Man, I should have listened to the men that was out there on, in, in them dresses. Come uh, in them um, aprons. Come Y'all going to be dreading it in that day. Man, I should have watched them videos. Come And see what they was talking about. Right. You know. We going to be celebrating and praising y'all about showing y'all was shot, man. The Lord say we going to rejoice, but y'all going to be in shame. Y'all going to be a pitiful case, starving to death, eating your kids, different, you know, animals attacking, wild beasts, you know. Come Eating you alive, man. Come on. You know. Just like that TV show when animals attack, man. Come on. You people ain't seen nothing yet, man. And and, 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 to, and, and you, you people of the world, y'all gonna turn into animals. Come on. You Cannibals. know? Cause Cannibals. It, cause if you ain't got this this word, you basically a, a brute beast, you know? Come on. Come if you ain't following the law, statutes, and commandments, you an animal, man. Come on. You know, you just a creature. Come on. You know, a, a, a creation of the Lord. You ain't got the breath of life, you know. Nope. Yeah. It said verse 8, they eat up the sin of my people and they set their heart in their iniquity. Uh, and y'all set y'all heart on iniquity. No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to keep getting me alive. Look, there ain't no like, bitches ain't going to be talking about me. And you know, man, fuck these girls, man. Come <laughs> For real. <laughs> I can't, I can't, man, that's the hardest thing. I can't let go of that pork, man. God. I'm going to eat crawfish. I'm going to smoke till I die, you know. God. All this just uh, filled with abominations. Wicked. Hearts set on, on iniquities. God. You know. And this um, Amos chapter 3 and verse 6. Well, you can grab that. Isaiah 51 and then. God. 
and and this is Amos chapter three and verse six. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people shall not be afraid? You know, and we blow the trumpet. Like Isaiah 58 and 1 say, go and cry aloud, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Uh -huh. That's blowing the trumpet, you know. Uh -huh. Shout, um, but you people ain't afraid. Y'all don't hear the trumpet, you know. And, uh -huh. and shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? You know, and if somebody died, no matter if it's a baby on to, to your great grandma, if somebody died, the Lord did that. He sanctioned the death, uh -huh. you know. And that's how it's going to be in that day. Everybody that's dying is going to be because of the Lord's sanction. It ain't going to be because, uh, oh, oh, um, that was just a tragic, you know, tragic accident. Oh, he just got bad. No, nah, ain't no luck and all that. The Lord did that, you know, because uh -huh. you despised his counsels and, and, and took none of his reproofs. That's right. So he's going to put some righteous hits on the world, you know. Yep. And we can't save ourselves, so we just trying to do the right thing, you know. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so we ain't, hey, we can't even save ourselves. And this Amos chapter seven, going to seven. Surely the Lord, Yahweh, surely Yahweh power will do nothing, but He revealeth His secrets unto the servants, the prophets, uh. and He revealed the secrets. Start with the apostles and the elders on down. Uh, right. Start with they teachers on down the secrets. Going mm -hmm. on down to the apostles and the elders, and they got more secrets than they teach us. So they they the teachers now. Mm -hmm. So we following in their footsteps because we see that they are the wisest men on the earth. You know, uh -huh. the uh -huh. Lord gave them the prophets, so we taking the prophets that the apostles gave us and showed us and told us, and we giving them to the to the other people. You know, to uh -huh. two thirds in these other nations, but. It's only about Israel, though. It's only about the lick. We don't care about the other nations. We're just right. giving them their judgment. And right. two-thirds, we giving y'all y'all judgment. That's right. God. The lion have roared. Who will not fear? And y'all don't fear. The lion finna roar, you know. The Yahweh power have spoken. Who can but prophesy? And the Lord spoken. So he put us out the world to prophesy. We can't help it. Uh, you know, uh, we can't help it. We were drawn to this we truth. We were drawn to the truth, you know, because uh, we were doing the same thing, y'all. We was on the other side, too. Exactly. You know, so you can't be like, oh, you ain't been, you don't know what. We done been through all the same thing y'all done been through. Uh, the Lord just chose us up at the world to prophesy. You that's know? right, man. Ups and downs, highs, lows, uh, you know, in the gutters, selling crack, all, all that, that, man. We done done all that, you know. We been doing it all, man. All wickedness, eating shrimp, crab, pork, lobsters, uh, committing uh, adultery, all that. Uh, you know, it ain't nothing that the world ain't did that we ain't did. Uh, you know, that's why we all seeking mercy, man. We ain't no better than nobody else. The only thing that make us better is because we turn back to the Lord and repent. You that's know, right, man. Now we just got to endure to the end. That's right. You know. So you niggas can't say it's impossible, man. Uh, it's possible, man. Anything is possible, man. Do your how about some y'all?